Now that we've got our diagram, we can start to actually calculate some things. And for this, we use Kirchhoff's two laws. Kirchhoff's first law says that basically electrons neither appear nor disappear. So what that means is when if you've got a junction, like here or here, where wires meet, the currents must add up. The current in must equal the current out because the electrons aren't disappearing or appearing from nowhere. So in this case, if we take the first junction here, we can find that the current in is I1, and the current out is I2 and I3, so I1 equals I2 plus I3. If you look at the junction over here, this current here is the same as the one over there. It's I1 all the way around there, so I1 is coming out. And we've got I2 through here and I3 through there, so you get I2 plus I3 equals I1, the same as you got over there. So that's Kirchhoff's first law, and that's the first consistency check we could make on our model. We put the diagram, and we should make sure that the currents in and out are balanced. Often it makes sense, actually, to label things like this right away. So instead of calling this I3, we could call it I1 minus I2, same as having one variable. Kirchhoff's second law, the voltage law, says that when you go around any closed loop, the voltage just get back to where you started from. Now what's a closed loop? Closed loop is any loop through a circuit. So it could be this loop here, where you go along here, around there, and that. That's one possible loop. I'll draw it like this. Or it could be around here, that's another loop. Or it could be all the way around the outside, that's a third possible loop. And what Kirchhoff's voltage law says is that when you go around a loop, you must always go back to the same voltage you started with. Which makes sense. It basically says that any place must only have one voltage. If you had a particular voltage here, and you went round and came to a different voltage, you'd have two voltages at the same place, which doesn't make sense. So what that's telling you is you start here, you go up, you go down, and you must come back to where you start. And you must do the same around every loop. And this is our second consistency check. Do you get back to where you started from every loop? And in fact, this model fails that. Let's imagine going from here to here. By this route, your voltage is going down, as we drew up here, because the current's going this way through the resistor, and the current always flows from high to low voltage. But here, around the other direction, the voltage goes up. So according to the bottom, this point must be at a higher voltage than that one, but according to the top, this one must be at a lower voltage than that one. They're inconsistent. They can't agree. In fact, it means the current here must be flowing the other direction. There's no other alternative. So we have Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's first law, the junction law, which says that currents in and out of any junction must sum to zero. And then you get Kirchhoff's second law, the voltage law. And that says that on any loop, the voltage at the end must be the same as at the beginning, so the voltages must sum to zero around any loop.